Hey guys, I'm Gamer Mate. Welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own level up system, or XP. First off, we need to make the leader stat script. So, go to server script service, click plus, then add in a script, go to the properties, and then change your name to leader stats. Make sure it's spelled like this, or lowercase. Then in the script, I'll explain everything in a minute, but first off, if you game dot players dot player added colon connect two brackets, then function, then if you do two more brackets, and in between them, type in player, then remove a bracket, and then if we go down. So if we now make a variable for the leader stats, so if we type in local leader stats equals to instance dot new two brackets speech marks and then folder then in between brackets and speech marks do a comma and then type in player now if you do leader stats dot name equals to speech marks and then leader stats now if we make a variable for the level value, so local level equals to instance dot new, two brackets, speech marks, and then number value. Once again, if we do comma, then this time if we type in leader stats. Now we're going to be setting the name to level, so level dot name equals to speech marks and then level. Now if you set the value, so level dot value equals to 1. Now we're going to be doing the same thing but with the XP. So if we copy paste, where now we've changed the variable name to XP, and then the same here. Then make sure the value is set to zero. Now we're going to be making a variable for another number value for the required XP. So this is going to be how much XP we need to level up. So if we do local required XP equals to instance dot new two brackets speech marks of a number value. This time, if you do comma, and then this time if you do player. Once again, I'll explain everything after I've wrote it. Now, if you set the name to required XP, so required XP dot name equals to speech marks, the required XP. Now we're going to be setting value, so required XP dot value equals to and then level dot value then if we do like times or this like star so we're going to be setting the required xp value to the levels value but times 100 so we do 100 if you want you could do like any number that you want for example if we're level one then the required xp is going to be 100 then if we're level 2, then we'll need 200 XP. So yeah, let me quickly explain. For every leader stats, we need a player added event. So game.place.player added, that's the event. So this player is kind of like a variable for each player that joins the game. Then this variable is creating a new folder inside of the player using instance.new. Then we set the folder's name to leader stats. Then we do the same thing, but with level at this time, we're creating a number value inside of the leader stats. Then we change the name to level. Then we set value to 1. So that means every player that joins the game will automatically spawn in as a level 1. Then we're doing the same, but for the XP. But this time, we're naming it to XP and changing the value to 0. Then this variable for required XP 
is a number value, then this time we're setting it to the player, so the parent is a player, that means we can't see the required XP in the leader stats, so once again we change the name, then we change the value to the level value times 100, like I said if you're level 1 then the required XP will be 100, so now we're going to be doing the update of the XP and level once they level up, and we're going to be doing that using an event called changed, which detects if the properties of the value has been changed. So if we just scroll down, then if we type in XP dot changed colon connect two brackets function two more brackets and then changed, then remove a bracket. Now if you use an is statement to check if the XP is higher or equals to the required XP. So if xp.value is higher or equals to required xp.value then xp.value equals to zero. So once we level up we're going to be setting the XP back down to zero. Now if you do level dot value plus equals to 1, then required XP dot value equals to, then level dot value, then times 100, then that should be this script done. So if we close off the script, so to test it, I'm going to be adding in a part that gives you XP once you touch it. Okay, so here's the script, if any of you want to write it out, and if you want, you could also make it different ways on how you get XP, like killing NPCs or players, which I already have tutorials of. Usually they're made for cash, but if you just change it to XP, then it should work. Anyway, if we close the script and click play, so you can see we're level 1 and we have 0 XP. So if you touch this part, then it gives us 10 XP. So we need to get 100 XP to level up. Okay, so if we touch it one more time, then we should level up. There you go, you can see we're now level two and we have zero XP. So if you want, you can leave it there. But now I could be making an XP bar. So if you add in a screen GUI, then name it to level GUI. Inside of it, add in a frame. Then if you change the name, to background frame like that. Now we've customized it. Then inside of that frame, click plus, then add in another frame. Then change the name of it to XP bar. Okay, so for the size, we need to make it 0, comma 0, comma 1, comma 0. This way we'll be able to change the size and it'll still fit inside the frame. You can also change the colour of it to like green or something. Inside the background frame, add in the text label. Then change the size to 1, 0, 1, 0. And also change the name to XP label. Now if you customise it, and then inside the GUI, so make sure it's not inside the frame, click plus, add in a text label, then name it to level label. Once again, if you customize it. Okay, now that we have the GUI, inside the background frame, add in a local script. Now we make a variable for the player. So local player equals the game dot players dot local player. Then local XP equals player dot leader stats dot XP. Then local required XP equals player dot required XP. Once again, we're going to be using that changed event. So XP dot changed colon connect two brackets function 
two more brackets and then changed. Then remove a bracket and go down. Then if you do if changed, then so script dot parent dot xp bar colon to mean size two brackets then u dim two dot new two brackets then xp dot value space forward slash then space then required xp dot value then comma zero comma one comma zero so we're using the changed event to check if the xp has been changed and if it's been changed then we're setting the xp bars size to the amount of xp we have out of how much xp we need then underneath these two ends and then if we do a while wait do loop then we do script dot parent dot xp label dot text equals to xp dot value then two dots then speech marks space forward slash then space outside speech marks do dot dot then required xp dot value so this while wait do loop will always update the text so we're setting the xp labels text to the amount of xp we have then we're connecting it with two dots to this text which is a space forward slash and then space and once again connecting it to the required xp's value so if we close off that script inside this level label add in a local script and once again we'll make a variable for the player so local player equals game dot players dot local player then once again we'll be using a while wait do loop then if the script dot parent dot text equals to and then speech marks and then level space colon and then space then outside the speech marks do dot dot then player dot leader stats dot level dot value I've just realized I spelt local wrong there we go okay so we get a variable for a player so we're able to get the leader stats then we're using a while wait do loop to always update the text because we're setting text to level colon then we're connecting it to the level's value so if we close the script and then click play so you can see we're level one and also says level one here so you can see it says we have zero xp at 100 then if we touch this part we can see it tweens the gui and says we have 10 xp then if we do it again it tweens it and if we go up to 100 then if we touch it we can see it resets back down to zero now we need 200 xp and also a level two if this video helped make sure to leave like comment and subscribe down below in the description you can check my robot screen and discord server and i'll see you later bye